on fluffy here um, what I have today is um, we're gonna do an unboxing and um, as you could tell by the title uh, the unboxing is Brandless. I don't know if you've seen the um, if you've seen the advertisements for it, I see it a lot of my Facebook channel, and me and my daughter had been wanting to try it, uh, so uh, I decided to, to order a few things to see how it went, to see what it's all about, and uh, today I have shorts on. <laughs> We're not having that again, y'all. <laughs> so, let's get started. little man thinking it's a bark box. <laughs> Ooh. I thought it might have been. little card it says woohoo you've gone brandless open me up so watch watch a boo-boo I gotta put it here okay let me turn it down and let's turn it and see how's that is that gonna be too much too much daylight let's see Okay, there's a postcard and a card. It's a postcard and with a lot of blanks. I guess insert my name. Hi, Fluffy. This is, and that doesn't say Fluffy. I'm just putting it in there. Hi, Fluffy. This may come as a surprise, but I just wanted to thank you for being so blank. I'm always so blank when you blank. Life is more blank when you're around. <laughs> I guess I can do it myself. Uh, that was a welcome to Brandless. Uh, welcome to Brandless. We're so glad you're here. Over the last few years, we've been working day and night to bring Brandless to life. On the idea that people deserve better, better ingredients, better pricing, better everything, really. Our incredible team scours the planet for the most amazing stuff. Oh, and it's only $3. How, you ask? We started by eliminating brand tax, the hidden cost you pay for a national brand. We all know how that goes, right? That's, that's the truth. Um, hasn't the time come to give everyone the freedom to choose delicious, healthy, and affordable everything? We think so. We're just getting started, and we're adding new things all the time. Please write us and tell us what you want to see. Next at founders at brandless.com, Tina and Ido. And it really does look like they signed it. It does look like, unless the ink they use the stamp is made to look like that. But to me, it does look like an actual signature, but you never know. I wish I could remember when I ordered it, and I can't to see how, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago. Let's see, I got paid Friday, and today's Thursday, so it had to have been sometime in there. I think I did it over the weekend. All right, uh, you get a, uh, an invoice. So let's get in here and see what we got. Oh wow, packed with them. Well, they gotta put that little thing in there, right? Now keep in mind, of course I'm not gonna say that because I already know I'm gonna be naughty. We're, we'll talk about my health in just a minute, y'all, and, and my results and stuff. So, from what I could tell, they do have non-food items, uh, like I think deodorants, I know they had like stationery or whatever. Um, uh, this is all food items, and, and this had to have been done over the weekend before I knew I had diabetes. But even still, I'm not going to say I'm never going to buy chips. I'm not going to say I'm never going to eat something. So here we go. First thing in here, lentil chips. Sweet jalapeno, no GMO, gluten-free, no artificial flavors, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors. I said no flavor. <laughs> They better have flavor. Uh, and it just says brandless. 
I'm going to turn this into a unboxing slash tasting. What they look like. Let me make sure my nails are clean, y'all. That'd be gross. Mm. Tough sweet jalapeno. Not getting the heat. Well, there it comes a little bit. good. They remind me of sour cream and onion. Try the next item. Organic, vegan, no artificial colors or flavors, no preservatives. Butternut squash soup. Love me some butternut squash soup. Now I suppose I have to look at the carbs. <laughs> Yeah, this is a um, really high one, so I'm not telling you. <laughs> Can't eat anything else with this. Got to eat some protein with it. So, but like I said, I ordered this before I knew what they were going to tell me. Same thing with this one. Uh, Gigli pasta or Gigli pasta. Let's put it this way. Soup has more carbs than this. Yeah. Uh, cheese duck crackers. I think this is like the goldfish. Organic. And like I said, I only got a few things. This is the one that first caught my eye. This is the first thing I clicked on. See, I've got shorts on, so I'm not even worried. Oh. Wrapped pretty well. I've seen this on Food Network. I've never um They probably made it, but I it's the name that I remember. Arribiate, biata, arbiata, pasta sauce. I can't wait to um try this. I may I may do a mukbang on this one. Wow. That's not bad. Eight grams of carbs per serving. Of course, I'll go over that because it's trying to say it's, there's five servings in one jar. I may have to start looking close at that, right? Well, fluffy, non-GMO, vegan. Wow. Cool. Okay. Well, that concludes the... Uh, the unboxing, like I said, I only got a few things because um, I wanted to see what it was all about. Wanted to um, see how it went. Ordering was pretty good. Uh, went pretty easy. Not that they're taking money was pretty easy. <laughs> anyway, um, got got the um, got the prescriptions in. I went to get them and got them, and uh, the only thing, uh, I took my first dose of everything last night. The pharmacist on the metformin suggested um, I only start, I'm supposed to take two a day. He said I would do one a day for three or four days. Um, so, uh, turn this back. I mean, I know you like to see them, but I just turned it for the box. Anyway, so that's what I did, and uh, even at one pill, I probably will not leave the house today. <laughs> so, um, anyway, felt nauseous and stuff, but I'm going to push through. It's just one dose. I'm sure it'll get better. So, probably for about three or four days, I'll only do the one dose of the metformin. Um, the blood case, the... Thing that I take the blood with is like super cute until you jab yourself. <laughs> Numbers are still high. I know it's not going to take over, you know, it's not going to do it overnight. I've been talking to Sarge. I actually had to pause you for a second, but she's still here. So, 
um, the dogs are at it again. Anyway, uh, so that's the update on me. I mean, it is causing me the nausea, a little bit of nausea. I slept most of the day. I know I've got to eat something. So, um, well, go get them. Go see. Go get the little dogs. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I. So anyway, um, that's that. So I've, you know, I've got to, got to get used to it. It's going to take a while. So I'll eat something. I put a kind of a piece of pork in the slow cooker. So, and then I'll shred it. That way I can add it to dishes a little bit here and there. Uh, be easier for me. So uh, anyway, that concludes everything. Thank you for all the uh, positive comments on my video uh, about everything you know uh, the medicines and stuff all your suggestions and things uh, just know that I am going to be partially non-compliant you know I just I have been eating this way for so long it's going to take me some time so uh, just keep that in mind when you watch my videos okay uh, but I'll do my best so uh, God bless y'all Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind and be your own advocate. Talk to y'all real soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.